Good morning, and we are now at the Birmingham NEC, and we, myself and Steph, my loyal compadre, uh, are here for the photography and video show, or photo and videography show, or one of those, but we'll see, and we've got to walk in now, and uh, yes, we shall see the many delights, and uh, Steph will be quite bored. Yeah, I'll be okay for like the first couple of hours, and then I'll start to get quite bored. Yeah, when I have another look at the same camera, <laughs> then she'll be bored. But join us in a bit. Hi. So we're currently uh, walking around, checking things out. I'm looking at this weird angle because I haven't got a little funny little photo oldie thing on my phone like Steph has on hers. Um, so far, we've looked around, had a cup of tea. It was a bit hot. How was your tea, Steph? Very nice. It's very nice. Yeah. And you had a strawberry croissant, didn't you? I have a feeling that's going to be her highlight of the day. <laughs> My highlight of the day was seeing the Sigma folks. So far, so far. Let's see if somebody can beat it. And, and playing with the FP and really wanting one. Um, I think the rest of the day is going to be spent meandering, looking at stuff I can't afford, <laughs> touching stuff I can't afford. Um, any, any plans for you, Steph? Maybe just checking out some audio, like microphones. I think that's, that's my vlogging. She vlogs, in case you didn't know. So check her out. What's your YouTube channel, by the way, Steph? Um, it's just Stephanie Valentine. Stephanie with an F, though. Yeah, Stephanie with an F, not, not the H. H. Anyway, we're going to carry on walking around, and we'll uh, see you in a moment. so nice, but to be honest with you, it's not as nice as the FP. Yeah, you know, it's not as nice as the FP. With this, I mean, this is even too heavy. This is for a small camera. This is ridiculous. as we enter the world of Canon and there are a million people in the Canon uh, area because they want to play with all their stuff and so it's very hard to get near any cameras as you'll see as we come around past the printers and very exciting things like that we've got the cameras so if you want to get anywhere near any of the cameras you're probably gonna to have to fight a load of people off and I'm willing to do that so I can play with a camera for you people out there want to see see what they've got uh, the wonder of canon and all these people geeking out over cameras so i'll try and get in there if i can see now if you wanted to look at a point and shoot or a small little mirrorless thing you could you could look at them all day and they're instant cameras look look no one's touching them but if you want to look at any of these you have to fight there is an R7 here. Right. You want to shoot here, so it will be there. You want to shoot here, it will be there. So you just can put on any place, right? Currently, on the show, they may be quite I think it's doing an okay job now. I'm zooming in, and it's got the still. Okay. Okay, so I just played with the R7. It was very nice. It did have a very beefy lens on it. Not quite as beefy as the Sigmas with their PL lens. But that's not a autofocus lens. That is. And it was pretty good. And it's nice Canon colours. It looks good. It's 
straight away on the camera, you don't have to do anything to it, and it looks lovely. Do I want an R7? Yes. If you're listening, Callum, yes, I'll take one. I'll have one right now if you want to send me one. But would I necessarily spend now a couple of thousand on it with a good lens? Maybe not. I don't know. It's pretty nice though. It's a pretty good camera. So uh, I think we will investigate more. But uh, I like that. It was good fun. And we have arrived at Nanlite. I have spent far too much money on Nanlite Parvo tubes, uh, the 30X. bought one from Wex and it was faulty and they returned it and did it within a few days, it was great. I do love me some, some Nanline lights. Specifically, specifically, my good friend, Carvo Tube. Now I've got a 30C somewhere, which I liked. And then I went and bought one of the 30Xs, so I think I spent a bit more than that when I bought mine, but uh, they're really awesome. Now, now, now I've got this one, the 30X, not having that, I have, hold on, that's not a 30X, that's a 60X, I'm looking at the wrong one. For a minute there I was getting very excited, but uh, this is the 30X, I was thinking mine isn't as long as that, but that's the 30X which I really like. Um, but this is the 60X, which is bloody ridiculous. Look at that. That is literally tall as a giant. Actually pulled the trigger on uh, on a red. It was there. It was there in the in the charity stall. So I thought, you know what? I want a red. I'm going to get a red. I didn't actually buy a red. Actually, it's just the case for the for the the mag things. Um, it was a fiver. It was for charity. It's about as close as I'm going to get to buying a red this year. Um, but still, I've got something that's had something to do with a red. So I'm pretty happy. And I gave to charity, because that's what it's all about. It's all about giving and also getting. But this, this is where you can get like, the, the small rig. Yes. Oh, this is the Ronin 4D. Oh my word, that's quite heavy. Because of the 
the solution. It looks like a cup wow. of water almost. Oh wow. And that's just by changing the changing fan the internal time. fan time and the the, 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 the <laughs> release of the fluid basically. Wow. And a, and an adapter obviously, but so that, that adapter is just to be a bit more flexible with okay. where you put it. Okay. This adapter does the same thing, but it slows it down even more because it goes through the phone. So it almost looks like water as it comes out. That's crazy. And it's If you want to play with a remote while you do it, when you do it, you press something. <laughs> You've got the power. You've got the power. Okay. Press A. <laughs> oh wow, that is proper. So with the Pro Kit comes the, they call it the haze adapter. So take your low effect off, change the setting, so you put the fan on full. Yeah. That's the thickness as it comes out, which is a smoke effect. And that turns it into haze machine. Very buttery sort. I've bought so many things from you over the years. Lots of things to take photos of yourself on. I may or may not do at some point in the day. Instats. Right. You touch your hand, take photo. And I have done many times. I do like Instats.
the uh, specs on it. It's also waterproof as well, which is great. Uh, it does, it, to, does it come with a magnet? Uh, I don't think it comes with a magnet. It's an attachment you have to buy extra. Uh, but you can buy off of that online as well. So you can just go to our website. I also think it's a good thing to do. I think it's a good thing to do as well, to be fair. So you're just staying here as in on time. This is pro. a bit sharp. Ooh. So we have lots of beefy camera setups. Uh, All you video camera geeks. This is crazy times. Just looking for the camera to see what's going to be a, a successful lens or something that uh, people with nickels and cameras have to be Yeah, so you can look at the way we're free for that. Okay. Uh, so, so it's got eight like 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 uh, 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 We've got a couple of uh, 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 lenses on the camera that you can have a look at the giveaway there and that'll be right. And that should be available in the next few minutes. Well, we're taking a rest now. Yeah, 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 we're taking a rest now. And uh, Steph is taking a rest from me looking at camera stuff and losing memory cards, which was quite embarrassing in front of the Sony rep. Um, I, I put a memory card in the wrong zip and then thought I'd lost a memory card. I didn't throw anything, that's quite good. Anyway, so far, what's been your highlight, Steph? Uh, the cup of tea and the coffee. <laughs> I'm kidding. Not really. That is probably a highlight actually, it probably is. My highlight um, was, was Sigma, I have to say. I, I mean, I like playing with the, the 4D, that was fun. And the little DJI, DJ, DJI action cams, they were fun. But mostly the Sigma and its beefy smallness. Liked it. And touching a lens I can't afford. But that was fun. And now we're in the, the, the video hub for a talk by DJI on, on gimbals. And uh, we'll see if that's fun, because hopefully it will be and very informative. Even though I don't use their gimbals anymore. Every low budget filmmaker's friend. All the things that Red Rock and everyone like that made. And, and I'm going to mispronounce it. Neewer, Neewer made it much cheaper, so they've always been the friend of the low-budget filmmaker, including me, and I've watched so much of their stuff over the years, so it's good to see them here. Here it comes. It comes out at 180 degrees. It comes out top and bottom. Yes, it's slightly hotter in the center, but light spills all the way up to the ceiling and all the way down to the floor, pretty much right in front of the light. Now, if you thought it was gonna follow the curve of the softbox, that's not how physics works. Your light is actually the last surface that light passes through. Whatever that is, that is your light source. So in this case, it's this flat front.
shaking so that's the only reason why. Not many other ones. Um, oh, the landscapes are better. Yeah, yeah. That's unusual. We'll have to show you what I did. Right, that's that's it for another photography show. Apparently, hi Steph. Hello. Apparently, we're not going to get another one for a year and a half, which is crazy, and I do not feel good about that. Um, did you have a nice show, Steph? Yeah, considering that I'm not like super into cameras, it was good fun. It is good fun. Um, obviously, I don't get as excited as Mark no. was about the cameras. No, no, I do. I think they're amazing, and I'm just going to change my grip here for some reason. Uh, which I'm failing miserably to do. My hands have gone all wonky. Anyway, I know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so it's been a great show. We've talked to some nice people, especially Lee, the Sigma rep, and uh, also Sam on the Sigma stall. Very helpful with the FP. We've talked to some cool guys with their cool smoke, uh, and lots of interesting people and interesting stuff. There's Nikon behind us. I'm sorry, Nikon people, I'm not buying your stuff. No, sorry, but we'll use you as a backdrop. There we go. Anyway, it's been a great show. We did get a... Oh yeah, we got a Nikon bag. Nikon, Nikon. Oh, Nik no. That helps if it's the right way around. You've ruined that whole advertising. Yay, Nikon! <laughs> Nikon, we don't really care. Um, don't use Nikon. Anyway, it's been a good show. Uh, we had a subway and uh, it was good fun. So. Thank you for joining us on this little walk around. And I'm still failing miserably to look at the actual camera instead of the screen. But thank you for coming and thank you for walking with us. It was good fun. And hopefully we'll see you at another show soon or looking at some other camera stuff. And uh, Steph's doing what I normally do in the back of her videos, <laughs> which is muck about. Anyway, thank you all and see you another time. Bye.